Check here. Come on. Here. Check here. Good boy. Good qualities Good. for um, a detection dog, especially one that would be working around bees. Would be laid back, easygoing, people pleaser. You like to see stamina where they can, you know, continue to work. Are you ready to work? Come on. Let's go. Go back to work. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Thank you. We actually use the real comb and I hide it into the boxes or the tubes or the fake beehives. When he finds that scent, he knows to sit. And we use the beehive so that he's used to being around that shape and size box. The bees he inspects, we put a sticker on saying that they were certified of American Fowl Brood Free with the date on it. And then they're good to move in and out of state for that one year. Let's go, come on. Check. Good boy. That's a good job. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. So the bee larvae, um, the bee babies, the bacteria kills them. And then when they die, they actually kind of soup down um, like a uh, kind of gooey mummy. And that gooey mummy has spores in it. And um, that gooey uh, larva will then dry up and harden into what looks like a fish scale. It just lays in the bottom of the beeswax comb and that scale is what we wanna make sure he can alert on and not just the full on dead, um, you know, larva. Hey, Sparky. Don't eat it. Nope. Ah, I caught you eating something. Nope, leave it. <laughs> so our new dog in training is Clark. He is a beagle mix. He's one, so he's still a little high spirited. I mean, Mac has a lot of good qualities, but his best quality is laid back. Run would be a Mac. Yeah, hey, easy now, easy. Clark. Clark takes out his hawk. Human inspection would never be able to accomplish 1,800 colonies and still be able to work and educate uh, homeowners and, and, and you know backyard beekeepers. So using Mac on something like that. Um, it's very useful so that we have our time to, to be in other bee, bee yards. That's a good job. Good job.